Hey everyone, Travis here from Travis.media. So I came across an interesting tweet indicating that Rust is being implemented again into another one of Microsoft's big products. Microsoft, as we already know, has gone all in on Rust. Two months ago, the vice president of OS security and enterprise at Microsoft tweeted this. I had a great time doing a keynote on Microsoft's approach to memory safety. Made a huge announcement. Microsoft is going big on Rust and spending 10 million to make it first class language in our engineering systems in 1 million Rust Lang Foundation. And then last year we found that Microsoft is rewriting core Windows libraries in the Rust language because it's a more memory safe language. And he actually said at this time, David Dwizzle Weston, and by the way, we all know why he uses an umbrella for Dwizzle, director of OS security at Windows, he said this, you will actually have Windows booting with Rust in the kernel in probably the next several weeks or months, which is really cool. The basic goal here was to convert some of these internal C++ data types into their Rust equivalents. Microsoft likes Rust because you get rid of all of the memory bugs that can be introduced in C and C++ where the memory is handled manually. Rust does a good job of mitigating that due to its ownership model and the programmer not having to allocate and deallocate memory manually. And it's super fast. And Google had already announced like two years ago that in addition to memory safe languages like Kotlin and Java, we're excited to announce that the Android open source project now supports the Rust programming language for developing the OS itself. Now, I actually already did a video on why these companies are replacing C and C++ with memory safe languages like Rust and how the US government has already put together a plan for this adoption. I'll put a link to that above. And then finally, the CTO of Azure himself back in 2022 said, speaking of languages, it's time to halt starting any new projects in C and C++ and use Rust for those scenarios where a non garbage collection language is required. For the sake of security and reliability, Liability, the industry should declare those languages as deprecated. So now, in addition to Microsoft rewriting core Windows libraries in the Rust language, it seems like they are now going to be doing the same thing to the M365 core platform. There's a tweet by a Wesley Weiser, who is the Rust Lang compiler team co-lead, senior software engineer working on Rust Microsoft. He said, we're hiring for a principal software architect. Microsoft 365 group is forming a new team lead focused on enabling the adoption of the Rust programming language as the foundation to modernizing global scale platform services and beyond. If you click on this job posting, you'll see it takes you to Microsoft's job board, their career board. So they're hiring a principal software architect, M365, and here's the overview. The Substrate App Platform Group is part of the M365 core platform organization. Now this substrate they're talking about is the layer or the foundation beneath these applications, like M365. So it says, this is an interesting point in time of new wave of innovations in the substrate, enhancing its scale and high value data to deliver intelligent and search experiences to end users. We need the best and the brightest to take the initiative and work with engineers across ND and Microsoft to build the next gen scale platform in the substrate. We're forming a new team focused on enabling the adoption of the Rust programming language as the foundation to modernizing global scale platform services and beyond. The successful candidate will be someone with deep Rust programming language skills or a willingness to become a Rust expert in the near term. Responsibilities will include guiding technical direction, design and implementation of Rust component libraries, SDKs and contributing to the building of global scale services in Rust. Over here in qualifications, it says proficiency in Rust and C sharp is required, meaning probably there will be a lot of C sharp ported over to Rust. So they need a principal software architect for M365. And the point is to adopt the Rust programming language for the building of global scale services in Rust. So what does this mean? This means Microsoft is not only actively migrating its core Windows code to Rust as a more performant and bug-free alternative to C Sharp or C++ or C, but it's looking to expand its team to integrating Rust into M365. I think that's huge for the Rust language. And I know many of you are critical to Rust because you're either C or C++ programmers, but these big companies like Microsoft and Google and US cybersecurity experts are all Ditching those languages for Rust because of memory bugs, I think that's a big deal. C and C++ are great languages. They have their place. There are so many developers great at C and C++. Many of you have said Rust is just a fad. C and C++ are the real thing and will always be. Well, I don't think Rust is a fad at all. And I'm not saying that Microsoft is ditching C Sharp, but they seem to be preferring the adoption of Rust pretty quickly. 
So if you have any aspiration to work at Microsoft or to work at Google or in the US government, I'd be learning Rust right about now. If you just want a rewarding next language to learn, then Rust will give you that as well. And it's not an easy language unless you come from C or C++ or are a low language programmer. But if you've only dabbled in JavaScript or Python, you will become a much more well-rounded programmer by learning it. And in fact, I just relaunched my coding community and each week we're working section by section through the Rust book. I'll put a link to that below. It's 50% off through Tuesday, February 6th. So be sure to check that out. And to all the people wondering, where do I learn Rust? What's the best pathway for learning Rust? And the answer is easy, the Rust book. In my opinion, no one should be looking anywhere else to learn Rust before working one, maybe two times through the Rust book. There's really no shortcut. It's all there in the book. I'll put a link to that below as well. So what do you think about Rust? What do you think about its adoption? Let me know below and let's get the conversation started. I appreciate all of your comments and I do try to read them all. In fact, I learned so much from them, positive or negative, and it's really worth a million to me. If you found this video helpful, as always, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing so, and I'll see you in the next video.